Hey guys, what's up? It is Sarfnik2 here. Welcome to a video. Today we're going to be touring my Subnautica bases at 35 and a half hours into the game. So we have three bases. We have Shallow Base, which is where we are here. It's actually our third base. Then we have Deep Base, which is really far away. It's our second base. And then we have First Base, which, you can guess, First Base. So we're just going to be touring the world and stuff and showing off some of our progress. So, we're starting off here at our third base. I guess we should start outside, actually. This base is actually probably only about three days old at the moment. It's a nice little place. We have like a main room in here. And we just have a locker where I put some extra resources. We got a fabricator, amazing stuff. Then we just kind of have these rooms I haven't done anything with yet at the moment. You climb up the ladder here. We got our first alien containment. We have some eggs here that we could do whatever we want with, I guess. We got another room here that I'll be working on shortly. And then over here we have a, a chill moon pool for restoring our beautiful sea moth. So if you're wondering where this is, it's actually kind of to the northeast, a little bit to the north of the life pod. It's right by the northern island, which I have named Alien Island just because it has the alien structure and stuff. Let's head back to Life Pod and tour there. And yeah, if you're wondering, this is where it is compared to the, the crashed ship, which is named the Aurora. Anyways, as you can see here, it's really close to the Life Pod. This is the Life Pod area. Had a lot of history here back in the day. Don't really go here that often anymore, sadly. But still a nice spot to visit every once in a while. So I have these like waterproof lockers just chilling here. I used to put stuff in them. Kind of still have some stuff in them probably. Yeah, just whatever I want, I guess. I just kind of put in here. Just extra resources. This one's empty, I guess. Hello, little fish. Come here. I need to eat you, man. Hungry in real life while recording this as well. But, yeah. It's got a good source of food all around, as you can tell. We got bladder fishes, if you need any. You know, water. Here it is. Just chill, I guess. We got a medkit fabricator. We got ourselves the average old fabricator. And we have some storage here as well. Which, I also have some random stuff in, I guess. We got fire extinguisher and stuff. And that's about it for our light pod base. Then we go to first base, which is our largest one. And by far has the most stuff. This is probably the closest, like, base to my life pod. They're only, uh, like, a few hundred meters away. Like, it does not take long to swim there at all. And many times I've actually been in this little kelp forest here collecting metal scraps and also just I guess stalker teeth and I just end up back here or back there I mean this is it we got a chill little cyclops there named Jake that hasn't happened in so long it just happened right now but it's, re it's named the Yang Blaster because of a guy from my streams you're wondering I stream some now on my main channel that's how it goes so we have two entrances we have this one and then we have this one this is the main entrance though Beautiful little spot. We got some batteries charging. And we have a bioreactor. We actually do have power coming from solar, but I also have a bioreactor as well. We have a fabricator, make it fabricator, modification station. Just the cool stuff. Then some lockers where I actually store a lot of stuff sometimes. Just get cool stuff is the name, isn't it? We got creature eggs. I'm actually going to take that. We got another locker here. We have the battery charger, and we also got a power cell charger. And if we go this way, we got a radio. But it also goes to our scanner room. It's a nice spot. We got cameras that we can connect to and take a view of everything. This one's underneath here in a cave, because we have literally have the jelly shroom cave right next to the base. And then we actually have camera two as well. There's no point in viewing three and four. That's for my second base, and you won't be able to see anything, though, because it's too far away. This one is... Look, it's actually really close to the light pod, believe it or not. It's closer to the light pod than it is to this base, basically. Well, just have it chilling here, keeping an eye on things, you know, whatever. Awesome spot. Then we have a ladder the upstairs here, but we're not going to go there yet. Then we have this room, which is the second exit. I have a water filtration system. I make water here, whatever I want. Then we have potatoes, this is where we farm our little potatoes with Technoblade. And here's our first moon pool of this place. We have a prawn suit there. We've also got a fabricator or whatever. We can make stuff here. And I suppose we'll head back this way. We have a ladder up here that goes to our second floor. It's a lovely spot. 
We have a little storage room. I might put an alien containment here, though. And right next to it, we have another moon pool where we usually put our sea moth. This was actually not meant to be part of the base. It was meant to end here, but I realized I need another moon pool, so I made another one. Then this way goes to a completely different area, the bedroom. Lovely old bedroom. We got this from the Aurora window. And this is where we sleep if we need to. And we have an observatory here. I forgot to explore. There's an observatory there as well. Go back down. And, hey, we're back by the bioreactor. It's a huge base, and it's quite a while to make. But now that we've made it, it's awesome. It's a chill little awesome spot. And yeah, it's our beautiful little base. I guess I could also tour the Yang Blaster as well. Not much to see about that. We literally just made it like three days ago. Welcome up. It's just a pretty average early game Cyclops. Got batteries. We almost got destroyed. It's a long story. Actually, I believe we have some upgrades. We have one. We have the inch engine efficiency. And we got our main little helm area. If you guys are wondering, this is so much like this. What I've learned from playing Sonatica is everything in sub is just like we fall down here? No, we can't. It's just like Whoa, actually you want to put that back. It's just like Ninjago season 15 aka Seabound. There's just so like the height this is like the Hydro Bounty. And a lot of the other features are like other things that happen in the season. It's pretty amazing. Anyways, let's take our little sea moth to deep base. Oh, this is a good screenshot of it. Look at this. Actually, this is going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> let's go to deep base. So, this is actually towards the Ruin Island, also known as Southern Island. It's actually right under it, believe it or not. This base, I must have started like a month ago in real life. I don't know how many play sessions ago, though. It might have been like nine or ten play sessions ago at least. It's quite old, to be honest. Not as old as where we just were, but pretty old. It's just past all these cores. I always see these nodes on the way. Ooh, it got dark. It gets pretty dark down here. Like, look, this is it without the light. You want the light down here. This goes towards the Lost River. There's like an entrance. Actually, the entrance is like right there. Lol. It's pretty deep, but once you get there, it's a pretty awesome place to explore. I like how the Lost River goes, like it starts here, but it goes all the way back to our, our other base. I think that's kind of crazy to think about. Yeah, we have some cameras spread out around here, just observing the landscape and stuff. I got a lot of resources from here. And here we are. And you'd be able to see this during day, you can't see this during night. But like, we're right underneath the island. We're like directly beneath it and everything. Here we are. This place always has a glitch when I come by it where the bottom doesn't render for a while. Pretty sure, yeah, there you go. It rendered now. Here's our only entrance. Got a storage locker. We got some decorations I picked up from some ruins. This is a picture of what the base looked like when I first started. We got a modification station, radio. We also got a fabricator we can craft and stuff. Purple tablet if we ever need it. Then this way, there's a scanner room. This is a little chill scanner room. You see the island? That's the island. Right above us where we are right now. Then in the other direction, we have a Nothing here yet. I plan on putting an observatory though, so nothing anyways. Then we have an aquarium. This guy hasn't bred yet, but they're just vibing, swimming around, having a good time, you know. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video touring all my Subnautica bases. Look, so we're about like a thousand away from the base we were just at first base, and we're like 1,600 away from our the base we started this, this tour at. Lol. It's amazing, isn't it? Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next stream. Check out my stream series. It's on the screen right now, the, the, the iCards. It's awesome. You can see how we made all this progress, basically.